Damien Somerset here at the Progressive Automotive X Prize here to talk to Steve Wasilowski. How are you? Of the infamous white shirt team. That's right. Um, what is this tomfoolery we're looking at here? It's not tomfoolery. We're going to make a, we wanted a race, and so we're putting a little bit of a race element into it. We added a chicane here to the oval to bring a little excitement and a little bit of more real world driving. Uh, we didn't want this to be just set your cruise control and cruise around for 50 laps and, right. and have no excitement and no interest and not really real world either. Uh, so what we did is put in a set of turns that are going to require the vehicles to slow down and then as they get to the other end, they'll be able to accelerate back up to freeway type speeds. Um, also, they'll have to employ a little strategy because obviously slowing down and reaccelerating uses a little bit more energy than just cruising at a constant speed. The chicane was put in the track to simulate highway driving a little bit more so than just having the cars stop every lap at start finish or every five laps at start finish. Uh, it's supposed to be like real highway driving. So if you were on a freeway and you had to, to pass a slower vehicle, you would have to do a lane change, accelerate, and then change back. And that's what this uh, bus stop chicane will sort of do. They'll, drivers may have, might have to hit the brake a little bit. They'll have to uh, test the handling of the vehicle to turn in, accelerate, and then uh, brake to exit it. So it, it simulates the lane change that uh, drivers will see on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, I think it, um, it gives drivers a little bit of pleasure because this has been a, a fantastic event. You had to drive ever so careful, ever so you know, smooth and, and everything. But the thrill of, of a corner was, has never been there in all these weeks. What we might see is a little excitement, a little some uh, some wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing between the, the multiple cars. The chicane was initially modeled after the, the bus stop at uh, Daytona. Uh, during the 24 hours of Daytona, they have a bus stop chicane on the back straight. And uh, they tried to model it after that. You know, this is a, a chicane which is always the same every single lap. And out there on the real motorway, you really have moving chicane. So at the end of the day, this is a much better deal. Check out the website for streaming video, live telemetry updates directly from the cars, and you can see other video blogs that I've been doing.